So the purpose of this video is to quickly show you a couple of the things that you can do with the Microsoft Mathematics add-on for OneNote 2013 uh, and Word 2013. Uh, you can see that I have it installed because across the top there is a, a new button here that says Mathematics and it's added um, several different features to my OneNote notebook. Um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to sh show you a couple of the keywords that I like to use. Um, so I can just do it from here. So for example, if I wanted to practice, um, I wanted my students to practice um, factoring some polynomials. A lot of times it's nice to have a bunch of polynomials for them to practice with. Um, and I can find those in a bunch of different places in textbooks. But um, with the mathematics add-on, I could insert an equation. Now this is just how you insert an equation. Um, anything is I'm pressing Alt and then the equals key. So Alt equal. And then the keyword that I'm going to use is expand, E-X-P-A-N-D, I open parentheses, and inside of the parentheses I'm going to type a couple binomials. I'm going to go with 2x minus 3, uh, and then I'll do x plus 5. Now once those binomials are typed, right, um, this, is, this is now an equation. I can, I can select this whole thing, and then I'm going to go to my mathematics uh, tab, and then I'm going to press the compute and then calculate and you can see what it does is it went ahead and multiplied those binomials so my questions for students could be hey uh, factor the polynomial 2x squared plus 7x minus 15 and I can take this as just an equation I could I could drag it around anywhere um, get a bunch of these and then you know delete the answers or I could leave the answers there for me for later um, so that's a quick way to generate some factoring practice um, using the mathematics expression. Another thing you can do is, um, I don't, uh, you could, if you've got some polynomials that you just want quick answers to on, you know, how to factor them, a keyword is a uh, factor. So I'm going to hit uh, Alt F and I'll type F A C T O R. And I'm just going to give it the polynomial um, 3x squared. When I hit space, it becomes an exponent, minus 14x and then plus 15 and then I'm going to close that and again same thing I'm just going to select this expression and with it selected I'm going to hit mathematics compute and calculate and it tells me that factor says x minus 3 times the quantity times the quantity 3x minus 5 um, another keyword that works is solve uh, so if I wanted to I could uh, type another equation alt equals solve s-o-l-v-e and inside of that, I'm going to say solve the equation. Um, let's go 4x, 4x plus 2 uh, times the quantity of x minus 4. I'm just kind of making this up. Equals 2x uh, minus 10. And then I'm going to close it. So you can see I, my, the equation is the part that's just inside of here, right? This is what I'm solving. There's only one variable in it, so the mathematics add-on knows to solve for that particular variable. If you had more than one variable, you would have to enter a comma and then tell it which variable you wanted to isolate. But here there's just the one variable, so I'm just going to go ahead and select it all. Again, mathematics, compute, and I'll say calculate. And it says x is 1 half. Um, one last thing I'll show you. Um, you can use the mathematics add-on to gra graph functions as well. And in fact, you can graph multiple equations at a time. So if I look real simply here, I'm going to do two equations. I'm going to do y equals um, one third. And again, as soon as I hit space, it becomes a fraction. One third x minus five. And then I'm also going to do the equation y uh, equals. I'll do two x um, plus one. And as soon as I have the two equations I want graphed, I'm just going to select both go to my add-on, I'm going to hit the graph drop-down, I'm going to plot in 2D. Um, it brings up this dialog box where I can see a lot of things and I can, I can zoom around and focus on parts of the graph that I want to look at. Um, if I want I can turn off this border that goes around. Um, this is kind of unfortunate because I picked something that has a, well actually I can kind of see it. You can also zoom out and zoom in, so if I zoom out a little bit um, we kind of get a, a better view of being able to see the origin. And we can see there's a solution here somewhere around negative 3, um, 
this doesn't look like it's scaled. I have different scales, so that's negative four, but then this is negative eight. Um, you can change the axes so that they're, um, they're equal in scale, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like this. I think it's good for students to interpret the X and Y axis. So you can see again here, it shows the two that I'm gonna graph. I click insert, and this is slightly below the screen here, but if I scroll down a little bit, you can see here's the graph that it's generated. Um, I want to turn off the graph that's in the background and just make this plain. It's too much having a graph with a graph. And I can make it smaller. Um, so we can see now here's here's my my two uh, equations in my system and I can see both of those graphed. Uh, lots more keywords that you can um, use. This is by no means a a thorough exploration of things that are possible, but there's a lot of great things um, that are built into um, OneNote uh, Mathematics add-on, and uh, I hope you get an idea for what's possible with it.